right, 25 minutes before 9 o'clock. It is time for News Bites. This is the portion of AM Ocala Live when we take take the news and deliver it bite size. That's why it's called News Bites. We will not read the whole story. We will not comment on the story. Nor will we attempt to be entertaining, nor will we take phone calls. What we will do is we're telling you, we will tell you where we're reading the story from because we are reading these stories. And uh, there is a website associated with all of the agencies that we are referring to. You'll be able to go to those websites and read the whole story for yourself. As I mentioned, we don't offer any opinions during this segment, nor do we enable our listeners to offer opinions through the phone. However, it's not unusual in today's world for journalism to include opinions embedded in the story. When you hear a story and you detect an opinion, good for you, um, but please don't blame us if the opinion is something you disagree with. And also don't blame us if you wonder why we're not disagreeing with it, because this 25 minutes is the only 25 minutes of the day where we don't do that. If you want opinion, don't worry. We got plenty of it all morning long. But during this segment, we don't offer any. So let me start with this first story, which I'm sure has very little opinion either side. Um, Just a sad story out of Daytona Beach. And it's from the Daytona Beach News Journal. A six-year-old boy drowned in a pond at a Daytona Beach apartment complex yesterday, according to police. The incident happened at the Breakers Apartments at 778 Jimmy Ann Drive just before 2 p.m. The boy, identified as London Keene, had already been pulled from the pond by his father when officers arrived. Emergency responders attempted CPR on the boy who was taken to Halifax Medical Center. He was pronounced deceased at the hospital. According to investigators, London was in the living room of the apartment with his father. The father, identified as Shamari Keene, went to use the bathroom when he returned london was gone according to police the father told police he checked the apartment and then went outside to look for london once outside he saw the six-year-old in the pond and called police no other details were immediately available five people were killed in a shooting at a car wash in pennsylvania yesterday state police said three men and two women are among the dead in the shooting that took place in the small town of melcroft in fayette county a sixth person was injured and taken to the hospital the suspect used the semi-automatic rifle in the shooting. It is unclear if the shooter is among the deceased, reported by KDKA. From the Florida News Network, a 64-year-old Umatilla man has been arrested on charges that he inappropriately touched a young girl and made her watch child porn. Douglas D. McCall, a relative of the elementary school-aged girl, faces charges of lewd and lascivious molestation and exposing minors to harmful pictures or shows. The girl's mother went to the Lake County Sheriff's Office on Wednesday after her daughter told her she had been inappropriately touched and had been made to watch explicit videos involving children, according to a probable cause affidavit. The incidents happened at least twice and began around Christmas time 2016, detectives said. The Orlando Sentinel newspaper reported that McCall is the son of former longtime Lake County Sheriff Willis McCall, who was charged with second-degree murder for kicking a black prisoner to death in 1972. The elder McCall was acquitted by an all-white jury and died in 1994, according to the Sentinel. Senator Marco Rubio, Republican in Florida, said Saturday that he fired Clint Reed, his chief of staff, after receiving allegations of improper conduct. Rubio said in a statement that he had sufficient evidence to conclude that Clint Reed, his chief of staff, had violated office policies regarding proper relations between a supervisor and their subordinates, uh, reported by NBC. From CNN, Cambodian authorities have accused 10 foreigners of violating the country's anti-pornography laws after police raided a party in Siem Reap, close to the famous ruins of Angkor Wat. The group, which includes at least five UK nationals, as well as two Canadians, a Norwegian and a New Zealander, is accused of, quote, preparing pornographic materials, unquote, a charge which could see them face up to a year in jail if found guilty. Cambodian authorities have distributed photos which they allege show the group simulating various sexual positions. It is not clear whether the photographs were taken at a party where the arrest took place. The suspects, speaking anonymously to Britain's press association, say they did not understand 
why they were being detained and that none of those arrests are the same people who appear in the photographs released by police. The Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York celebrated its Michelangelo exhibit by having a special guest. Ninja Turtle Michelangelo inspect his namesake's works. The Met posted photos on Twitter showing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Michelangelo, or at least someone dressed as the half-shelled hero, taking in some of the works at the museum's Michelangelo, Michelangelo Bureau Narati exhibition. The museum said Thursday's visit was organized in part by tourism website website NYCGO. This morning, we welcomed Michelangelo, one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at the Met. Our celebrity guest came to see the work of an artist who happens to share his name, reported by UPI. From IndyStar.com, a Jeffersonville, Indiana high school senior already charged with child molestation is facing new allegations that he abused more than a dozen other youths. 18-year-old Michael Began Jr. is now charged with 24 counts of child molestation after police say he inappropriately touched 17 children ages 3 to Eight, while working as a teaching assistant at Thomas Jefferson Elementary School and at the YMCA in Jeffersonville, Indiana. After Began was charged in October of last year with two felony counts of child molesting stemming from his time at the elementary school, more children came forward. Police now say four additional girls at the elementary school were touched inappropriately by Began in the library or in the hallway, according to a probable cause affidavit filed Friday in Clark Circuit Court. President Donald Donald Trump is taking credit for a decline in the African-American unemployment rate, this time by taking aim at rapper and businessman Jay-Z following his comments on CNN Saturday night. Somebody please inform Jay-Z that because of my policies, black unemployment has just been reported to be at the lowest rate ever recorded, Trump tweeted yesterday. The president's tweet follows Jay-Z's remarks on the premiere of CNN's The Van Jones Show, where the rapper addressed Trump, reported by CNN. From the Florida News Network, three days after the Florida Department of State certified a ballot amendment that would automatically restore the voting rights of one and a half million felons who have served their sentences, two Democratic members of a powerful state panel who had been working on a similar proposal through their support behind it. Florida is among a handful of states that don't grant felons the right to vote upon completion of their sentences. Landmark reforms, spearheaded by former Governor Charlie Crist in 2007, automatically restored the rights of hundreds of thousands of Floridians convicted of nonviolent felonies, but the reforms were overturned by Republican Governor Rick Scott and the Florida Clemency Board in 2011. The stricter rules, Scott argued at the time, were necessary necessary for the state to evaluate whether felons have proven themselves responsible members of society deserving of the right to vote. A Palestinian says he has discovered an ancient burial ground in the backyard of his house in the Gaza Strip. Abdel Karim al Kafarna said on Friday he found a tomb consisting of nine burial holes with bones and some clay pots. Archaeologists in Gaza believe the site is about 2,000 years old, dating back to the Roman era when the territory was part of the far-flung Roman Empire. They say further tests are needed to determine the exact age. al Kafaran said he found it by accident after heavy rains this week unearthed parts of the underground chamber. Gaza, now ruled by the Islamic militant group Hamas, is on the route between Egypt and ancient Levantine civilizations. It is packed with ancient archaeology, endangered by urban sprawl, conflict, and years of neglect, reported by the Associated Press. From USA Today, Panera Bread has issued a national recall of cream cheese products from its bakery cafes amid concern of potential listeria contamination. Although no illnesses have have been reported, the St. Louis-based chain said yesterday it issued the recall out of an abundance of caution after samples of one variety of two-ounce cream cheese from a single production day showed a positive result for the presence of listeria. Tests on cream cheese samples manufactured before and after the production run in question all showed no traces of listeria. The Ursula animatronic on the Little Mermaid ride at the Disney California Adventure theme park literally lost its head yesterday. The figure continued to move and sing with its head dangling and, of course, guests captured the moment on video and posted it on social media. The park goer who posted the footage asked not to be named but said children were upset. Immediately after we got 
got off, we were ushered out along with everyone else, and the employees looked very concerned. Many people had seen Ursula decapitated, including children who understandably were upset. The voice in the clip saying it's broken belonged to her eight-year-old brother, who she said was laughing about it, but other children cried. Given the way the figure moves, even without its head, it looks like Ursula was right all along. Do not underestimate the importance of body language. Ursula wasn't the only Disney figure to lose its head this weekend. Images shared on social media from Disneyland Paris showed the auctioneer figure from the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction also without a head. The two headless figures had Disney fans talking on social media, reported by the Huffington Post. Uh, from USA Today, it is everybody's favorite time of year, tax time. Before you run and hide, consider this. The sooner you file your return, the sooner you will get your tax refund. The Internal Revenue Service begins accepting tax returns today. So check your mail to make sure you have received all your tax documents and get started. Another good reason to get your taxes done early is to make sure you don't fall victim to identity theft. Criminals can file a return in your name and steal your refund. So buckle down and get this task out of the way as soon as possible. House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy said yesterday President Trump's recently proposed immigration framework has a lot of merit, but a final solution will require compromises from both sides. And U.S. Senator Joe Manchin, a moderate Democrat, said yesterday he thought a new White House immigration plan is a good starting point. He criticized House Democrat Leader Nancy Pelosi for dismissing it as a way to make America white again. He said we don't need that type of rhetoric on either side from Nancy, Paul Ryan, or anybody else, reported by Reuters. All right, let's take a little break. We'll be right back. This is WOCA Ocala. We've got more news bites on the other side of the break. Ocala, it's time to step outside into that warm sunshine, and the one place you've got to see this week is the Camellia Show Spectacular at Bob Wine's Camellia Gardens in Ocala. The cooler weather has the camellias bursting in bloom, so come on out to this spectacular free show for sure. If you'd like, you can get your own famous Bob Wine's heirloom camellias for as little as $9.99 this week. How about touching up those azaleas? Bob's Budded and Blooming Dwarf Ever Blooming Red Ruffle Azaleas Still, now get this, just $3.99 each. This week, you can get Parsoni Juniper, not $5.99, just $3.99. Make a note of it, this week at Bob Wines for sure. It's the wonderful Bob Wines Camellia Show Spectacular. Southeast 38th Street, Ocala, just east of Lake Beer Avenue, daily till 4, Saturdays till 2, in the same blooming place for almost 66 years. Is that couch cushion sinking lower every time you sit in it? Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in the golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has been right here in Ocala for nearly 20 years, so they know how to make your ride one of a kind. Whether you want to take that classic ride back to a factory look or put your favorite sports team front and center, Captain T's upholstery is who to call. 352-369-1810. That's 352-369-1810. Or stop by their location. 5030 South Pine Avenue in Ocala, just past the drive-in. And of course, don't forget to visit them on the web, CaptainTUpholstery.com. The very best in quality is Captain T's Upholstery. Today in Florida Ag News, I'm a Southeast Ag Network. Well, the Florida Agricultural Hall of Fame Foundation and the Florida State Fair Authority invite you to attend the 2018 Florida Agricultural Hall of Fame Banquet. It'll be held Tuesday, February 13th at the Florida State Fairgrounds in Tampa to honor four 2018 inductees, Alfonso and Pepe Fon Hool, Lowell Lolhotz, and Harold K. Mickle. Florida Commissioner of Agriculture Adam Putnam said, It's my privilege to recognize these honorees for their outstanding contributions to Florida agriculture, and I look forward to their official induction into the Florida Agricultural Hall of Fame. And another part of the event is the Florida Agricultural Hall of Fame Youth Mentor Program. 
Prior to the Hall of Fame banquet, the youth mentees will attend a special program conducted by leading educators from Florida's agricultural colleges. To learn more about sponsoring the Youth Mentor Program or about the 2018 Florida Ag Hall of Fame Banquet, simply go to FloridaAgHallOfFame.org. Hi, I'm Adam Putnam, Florida's Commissioner of Agriculture. Floridians are all too often targets for scams and fraud of all types, including Medicare, charity, and travel scams. That's why the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services has made it a priority to protect Florida consumers from scams, fraud, and deception. To learn more about scams and fraud that target Floridians and find the resources available to help you avoid them, visit www.freshfromflorida.com or call 1-800-HELP-FLA today. Whether at your local green market, corner grocery store, or neighborhood restaurant, you're supporting your community when you buy local. Food grown right here by Florida farmers doesn't need to be shipped this far. That saves fuel and cuts emissions. Buying local is more than just supporting area businesses and growers. It's buying fresh, wholesome, and delicious food for your family. Products you trust from people you trust. Fresh from Florida. Good for the environment. Good for the economy. Good for you. Randall Wiseman, Southeast Agnet. All right, nine minutes before nine o'clock. Let's return now to News Bites. The next story is from USA Today. Fresh off a trip to Switzerland, President Trump today is expected to unveil a new legislative framework on immigration. Trump wants to give young immigrants who were brought to this country illegally as children a path to citizenship. A fix for dreamers must occur before Congress takes on comprehensive immigration legislation. Trump calls that the bigger immigration problem. The White House and congressional Democrats are scrambling to resolve their differences on the politically charged issue to avoid the possibility of another government shutdown on February 8th. Florida ranks dead last when it comes to rating the best states in the nation. Michigan ranks number one, the very best state in the union. Michigan, the state that gave us the Motor City Madman, Ted Nugent, and Kid Rock, it is 49 states better than Florida. Thrill is definitive and final Final ranking of all 50 states list rank the states based on everything, specifically the state's contributions to America, like inventions, food and drink, somewhat productive famous people, and unique physical beauty, among other things, reported by the Miami Herald. From the Bloomberg Report, Keurig Green Mountain Incorporated agreed to combine with Dr. Pepper Snapple Group Incorporated in a deal that will pay $18.7 billion in cash to shareholders of the soft drink company and give them a stake in the coffee and soda giant controlled by the billionaire Riemann family's JAB Holding Company. Snapple shareholders will get $103.75 a share in a special cash dividend and retain 13% of the combined entity. The companies said this morning the dividend is about 9.2% above where Snapple shares closed on Friday. A New York bar is drawing attention online for signs posted outlining its latest policy change, a ban on the word literally. Signs posted outside and inside Continental in Manhattan's East Village warned patrons that they could be ejected from the drinking establishment if they dare to utter the word. The sign reads, sorry, but if you say the word literally inside Continental, you have five minutes to finish your drink, and then you must leave. If you actually start a sentence with literally, you must leave immediately. This is the most overused, annoying word in the English language. We will not tolerate it. Stop Kardashianism now. Trigger Smith, the owner of the bar, said the policy is meant to be tongue-in-cheek. I'm just trying to shake things up a little and possibly enlighten people to be a little more respectful of the English language, he said. We are not literally throwing people out yet. Some have accused Smith of sexism, saying the sign is designed to specifically target young women. (laughs) But he bruised aside the criticism. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a feminist who supports women's rights. I am 100% behind this whole Me Too thing. I guess people will find an issue in anything, he said, reported by UPI. From USA Today... Oh, I'm sorry. No, this is from the Florida News Network. The Department of Justice has requested the Census Bureau add a citizenship question to the 2020 census. Several lawmakers, including members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, have fought back, saying the question is not necessary. U.S. Representative Darren Soto, representing portions of Polk, Osceola, and Orange counties, led the caucus in writing a letter expressing its members' disapproval with adding the question to the census. Soto fears asking people whether they're citizens 
citizens on the census form will lead to more people not filling it out and thus producing inaccurate results. He said he will follow up on the letter and introduce legislation, if necessary, to oppose the question from being on the census. Authorities in Texas said a federal prison inmate was arrested on an escapee charge after he was caught running back to the prison with a bag of home-cooked food. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office said deputies received a tip that inmates at the Federal Correctional Complex in Beaumont were crossing from prison grounds into private land owned by a local rancher to smuggle contraband into the facility. The Sheriff's Office narcotics investigators and U.S. Marshals set up surveillance at the facility on Thursday. They witnessed a vehicle drop a large duffel bag on the private property. An inmate, Joshua Hansen, age 25, was seen r- running from the prison grounds to retrieve the bag. Hansen, who was being held at the complex on a narcotics charge, was caught while running back to the prison with the bag, which was found to contain contraband, including a large amount of home-cooked food. The bag also contained marijuana, three bottles of brandy, one bottle of whiskey, multiple bags of bugler tobacco, packaged snacks, and fruit. Hansen was booked into the Jefferson County Jail on charges of escape and possession of marijuana, reported by UPI. From the website space.com, SpaceX will attempt the first launch of its new giant rocket, the Falcon Heavy, on February 6th. The company's CEO, Elon Musk, said on Saturday, January 27th, the much-anticipated maiden flight of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket will lift off from the historic launch pad 39A, the same one used for NASA's Apollo moon missions and space shuttle flights at the agency's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Musk's announced the announcement came three days after SpaceX test-fired the Falcon Heavy's 27 first-stage engines for the first time at the launch pad on Wednesday, January 24th. Aiming for first flight of Falcon Heavy on February 6th from Apollo launch pad 39A at Cape Kennedy, Musk wrote on Twitter, easy viewing from the public causeway. While Musk did not specify a launch time for the Falcon Heavy's first flight, the mission may lift off during a three-hour launch window that opened opens at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, according to a Space News report. A back a backup launch date is available the following day, according to Space News. President Donald Trump will tout the accomplishments in his first year of office and talk about infrastructure and immigration initiatives that he is sending to Congress in his State of the Union address tomorrow. Trump's first State of the Union address to be delivered before a joint session of Congress in an evening national telecast comes about a week after he celebrated his first year in office, reported by Newsday. From Fox News, a young Canadian couple who recently returned from the Dominican Republic is warning those who are planning to travel somewhere tropical about the risks of walking barefoot in the sand after coming home with incredibly itchy feet, which turned out to be parasites. 22-year-old Katie Stevens of Ontario said to reporters that while staying at the IFA Villas Bavero Resort in in Punta Cana, she and her boyfriend, 25-year-old Eddie Zittner, found that they were scratching their feet quite a bit. They told the news station CTV News that the two had heard about sand fleas and kind of assumed it was that at first. But after returning home on January 18th, they noticed their feet had become very swollen and small bumps had developed on their toes. Stevens wrote on Facebook that the couple simply thought it was just bug bites and it became worse as each day passed. Two doctors were stumped by what was causing the swelling, but a third doctor recognized the condition as he had recently seen a similar case from a tourist who traveled to Thailand. The couple, according to the Facebook post, contracted larva migrants known in layman's terms as hookworms. A New York State Police Department shared video of a herd of eight escaped goats thanking officers by giving their patrol vehicle a free car wash. The Webster Police Department posted a video to Facebook that showed the eight goats licking the accumulated salt from the bumper of a patrol vehicle. Free car wash, the officer filming the video quips, reported by UPI. Oh, my God. Uh, And uh, one more story Um, out of uh, USA Today. Polish President Andrzej Duda said he would send a top policy advisor to meet today with Israeli diplomats outraged over a Polish bill that bans the use of the term Polish death camp to refer to concentration camps built by the Nazis on Polish soil. It also places fines on certain mentions of Polish complicity in the Holocaust. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said yesterday that his country has no tolerance for the distortion of the truth. That is all the time we have for our news bites. We need to uh, make room. Burn Pareso is up next. How many stories today, Robin? 28. All right, we'll be right back with Burn. This is The Source, WOCA Ocala.
Fox News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. President Trump's expected to release guidelines for his immigration plan today. More money for border security, more restrictions on legal immigration, and a path to citizenship for some younger illegal immigrants. Senate Minority Whip Dick Durbin warned that the president's plan, in his words, places the White House's hardline immigration agenda on the backs of these young people. And members of the House Freedom Caucus panned the White House plan, saying providing a path to citizenship for 1.8 million dreamers amounts to what they called mass amnesty for law. Breakers. Fox's John Decker. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Bruno Mars cleans up at the Grammy Awards, winning six, including song, record, and album of the year. You guys, man, I, I love y'all with all my heart, and this is for the fans. Thank you guys. This show on CBS last night, Kendrick Lamar won five Grammys, sweeping the rap categories. Fox News, we report, you decide. Hello, I'd like to deposit this to checking. Fate is a fickle master. What? The future is uncertain. Okay, and what's my account balance? Ah, the horizon is cloudy. I see a long, treacherous voyage Um, filled with great peril. Look, can I just get a deposit slip or something? A fortune bank teller. Surprising. What's not surprising? How much you could save by switching to GEICO. I see a yellow-eyed serpent what? and a low APR. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. When you're hiring, you want qualified candidates fast, and it can be hard to know where to find them. More than 3 million businesses use Indeed.com, the world's number one job site. Whether you need entry-level or highly skilled employees, Indeed helps you find great talent and make the right hire. Indeed is offering new users a $50 credit to give their first job post premium visibility as a sponsored job. Redeem this offer at Indeed.com slash promo. That's Indeed.com slash promo. Terms, conditions, and quality standards apply. This video was shot on her phone. Weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Say photographs no accident. On this Monday, it'll still be warm with clouds, even a brief shower or two in the highs in the 70s, and partial clearing Monday night and turning cooler. Lows in the 40s to lower 50s. Tuesday will feature sunshine, a cool breeze, highs in the upper 50s to mid 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny, highs in the mid 60s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hi, I'm Russ Moore with Pike Mill. Our relationship with WOCA started in 2009. WOCA is a family-friendly, community-involved station. When we moved to our new location on 17th Street in October of 2016, of course, we went to WOCA so they could tell everybody our new location. The folks at WOCA really care about their clients and want them to be successful. For all of your shipping needs, call Pack Mill and to tell the Ocala area about your business, call WOCA because WOCA Radio gets results. Are you wasting hundreds or thousands of dollars on termite retreat fees? If you're not with Turner Pest Control, you probably are. Turner Pest Control offers the industry's only termite and pest control package that never charges retreat fees, ever. You can get started today for only $99. This is a value of $500 or more. This includes treatments, installation of monitoring stations, quarterly pest control, and a lifetime guarantee, all for an unbelievable low $99. Even if you have another pest control provider, visit turnerpest.com to find out how you can avoid paying those high termite retreat fees. Palm Garden announces Fast Track. Fast Track, focused assessment, safe transition. When a new guest is admitted to Palm Garden, we start with the ABCs. A is the assessment to determine what the guest needs. B is for basic care, which is excellent nursing and therapy. And C is for consistency to provide what's needed throughout the stay. Fast Track, Palm Garden will get you home fast, really, really fast. Take a fast tour of Palm Garden located at the corner of Southwest 27th Avenue and 34th Street. Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. All right, five minutes after nine o'clock. There's a lady in the room, Robin, who brightens the room when she walks in. She does. She is amazing. <laughs> Bern Parazzo is here. Bern is our medical reporter from Good For All Marketing and uh, gives us information so that we can make better choices when it comes to our health. I guess that's a good way to put that. Good morning, Bern. How are you? Good morning. Fantastic. 
Oh my gosh. Where's Moosh and my microphone? How are you, Robin? There We're you are. Good. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't usually use that microphone. You haven't been here in a while, so I'm going to blame it on that. <laughs> I just want to make sure you can hear me. You look nice. <laughs> Thank you. I, you're not cold Beautiful anymore, right? We all, it's just, just right. Just a little bit. Just and a little. I like this weather. You do? Chilly morning, January the 8th already. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fast. Anyway, before I proceed, we have a birthday um, celebrant for January. Um, Dr. Asad Kamar is celebrating birthday today. Nice. Happy birthday to you. Do you have a cold? Um, not really. It's just, it's January the 8th. It's the first week of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Does that normally happen to you? Because <laughs> we both have colds. I'm good. Okay. I am good. So next year, January 8th, I'll just talk to you and <laughs> expect that same voice. <laughs> same voice. <laughs> so, Dr. Comer, happy birthday to you. And we also have a very good friend, Lori um, Armstrong. Um, and the third one is Dr. Wiener, Wiener Favis in Leesburg. So those are, you know, the birthday uh, celebrants for January. Now, um, <clears throat> and let's move on to the right, to the very, very uh, <laughs> substance of, you know, why I'm always here. <laughs> I'm always here because I want the community to be on top of their health. And you, and you don't know take, how much of an effect you have. Take charge of your health. And um, this is the right time to schedule your appointment. It's the first month of the year. Call your doctor and schedule your well check. Your well check. Well check. Now, what do we benefit from taking care and from seeing this, you know, all uh, our medical providers from, you know, visiting our doctors? Well, I should say doctor because you have to see your family doctor first before you see the others. Now, I had a call uh, last week, and this person does not have a family doctor. And she said that I really need a skin doctor. Skin? Uh, a skin doctor, skin doctor because she has disorders. Uh, okay. It sounds like psoriasis right. to me. Right. And anyway, I said, well, um, most of um, these people, because it's more than one, um, they do not know that you have to have a family doctor to refer you to a Oh, you have to specialist. have a starting point. That is correct. So your family doctor will make decisions for you. And not only that, you might go see this doctor for skin disorder. However, this doctor will not only do the skin you know, analysis or refer you to, I mean, he or she will be able to help you decide because when you go see for your physical exam or well check, everything is done from blood work to, you know, eye exam, whatever, eye referral, or your, you know, if you're over 50, you get your call. Boy, he's going to be busy, or she, <laughs> whenever I finally get one. <laughs> So there's always 45 minutes depending on your medical condition. Oh, really? So usually you just don't go to your family doctor and say, Doctor, I need to be referred to a skin specialist. Ah. Because you are there for your first visit. This is a 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, Consultation. Get, so what correct. do people look for? I, see, I need a doctor. I don't have a doctor. Well, first of all, before you go, see your, your first, well, not a first doctor, but go for your visit. You want to know what kind of family history do you have? Oh, my own history. Right. Heart attack in the family. What's the cause of death? You, that, you almost sang it. Well, Heart attack in the family. <laughs> because it's pretty common. Oh. oh this is, is right? a traitor. You never know. But, but this is something that you want to know first. What should I look for? Like... Should I look for an office that serves coffee, like in the waiting room? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, and let me, you know, let uh, this is this is a scenario last week, and she said that she just arrived from New Jersey, oh, okay. and she has all the family members, and she does not know where to go. And I said, well, you got you called the right place, but anyway, I usually match it according to the location of your home. 
Oh, okay. Know, or okay. where do you work? Because I don't want her to be seeing a doctor on the other side of town, mm -hmm. and then she lives in Marion Oaks. So we have a lot of medical that providers sense, in that yeah. area. Yeah. Like there's actually one or two. Heart of uh, Central Florida is right there at the entrance. Mm -hmm. And then doctor um, used to be Dr. Elko. That's another oh, location okay. there. Right, but there's a family, um, trying to remember, there's a PA there. I could be wrong, but anyway, I used to remember this, all the this names. This topic came up once before, and I want you to know that we got a lot of calls after the topic. I actually had a, a gentleman that was telling me, I, I want to thank WOCA, because I think he called right after we were discussing about, yeah, yeah. we have, uh, we have, plenty of medical providers in the area and if you live in Marion Oaks you know we have providers out there if you live in the southeast area we have several um, the only thing is you know when you google and try to find a provider you can't just say southeast doctors that's you know. why we call you <laughs> that's when <laughs> that's when I have my office. It's three five two six two two six four three two and I can help you with that. So anyway, going back to making your appointment and if this is your first time, make sure that you know, you ask about you know, what are what are the history of the family? What happened to your grandparents? Do you have diabetes? Do you have hypertension? Um, you know, the heart attack and all that. My grandmother had a dachshund. Does that matter? <laughs> <laughs> you might want to check. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't miss, you know. Yeah. It's, it's always good to be able to relay messages yeah. Yeah. to your current provider. And he and she would refer you and help you decide, you know, what to do after that appointment. So, again, if you're over 50 years old and haven't had colon screening, you know, early detection... Uh -huh can save lives. We talk about that a lot. Exactly. And Seven Hill Gastroenterology is accepting new patients. Oh, now, nice. If you happen to call, okay, here's another way when I mention about go find a family doctor. Now, if you want to do the shortcut, no, I'm not guaranteeing that the office will help you. But you can also, you can also say, I need a colon screening, but I do not have a family doctor. Now, at Seven Hill Gastro, we would find you a doctor. Would you? Oh, how wonderful. All right, really? so you can call 352-401-1919. My telephone directory sometimes, you know, it doesn't work, so I have to think a little harder. What's the telephone number? <laughs> I think you do have but a call. It is 352-401-1919. You sung that, too. <laughs> <laughs> singing today. So anyway, uh, get your appointment. I, um, you know, I'm encouraging everybody, and you can be a blessing to your friend or a family member by actually telling them that we need to get and set up our doctor's appointment now. Do not put it aside. When's the last time you saw your general practitioner? Uh, probably, um, actually, this week. You did? Yes, I always... You are fighting a cold. I, um, it's just the sniffling. is the sneezing. Do you want a tissue? <laughs> Please. <laughs> that would help. So I thought that, um, I thought that I'm the only one. I try, I try to... Hold on, I'll lower your microphone. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead, blow. Okay. <laughs> That's good already. <laughs> um, so I saw my doctor first of the week. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, um, I have a very good doctor here. Do you want to name your doctor? Um, Dr. N. Patel. Oh, yes. Oh, His yes. real name is Dr. Narendra Kumar Patel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And his okay. office is located at, uh, actually, behind Paddock Mall. Behind Are us? Are we behind Paddock Mall? Behind us. Sort of, kind yeah. of, to of the side. Location. I think I know what you mean. Right. And he also has another geriatric doctor there, Dr. Raj Patel. So they both are, I would say, incredible doctors. They would... They would sit down and take their time to see you. And these are good assets. Were they? You know. Do you know what I want? I want a doctor who has a sense of humor. Because I like to make silly jokes. Really? Um, and if, mm -hmm. I, if I make a silly joke and they're just like. Would they, would they pick it up? <laughs> <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> anyway, again, be on top of your health community. Schedule your appointment for your well check. <laughs> 
it is um, you know first month of the year so to be able to stay healthy and survive the year 2018 you know take charge take charge and I think um, and be large be large and take charge and remember health is I got the be large part under control <laughs> <laughs> no, you are you are saying that. I, I didn't say it. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I am. <laughs> anyway, this is all for this week. And um, next week, we will be uh, talking about uh, where do we go, health services that are recommended, or where we will we recommend health you. Health services as as. recommended. <laughs> You're singing today. Do I really? Do you hear it? <laughs> Is, or is that my accent? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> or you have not heard me in a while. That's that's it. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Exactly. That's what it is. Well, listen, I'm Bern Parisa yes, from GFA Medical Marketing, Staffing, and Business Development. You can call me at uh, 352-622-6432. Leave a message. Messages are checked every 15 minutes. Now, did I sing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. I, I probably should yes. be singing next week. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say have a great weekend, everyone. And again, be on top of your health. Thank you, Bern. This is all for today. And I'll see you again next <laughs> week. Bye-bye. All right. We'll be right back. Direct Connect to UCF, where students who attend the College of Central Florida and graduate with an AA or articulated AS degree are guaranteed admission to the University of Central Florida. Success coaches are ready and waiting to assist you in designing an educational plan that is right for you in any of their locations across Central Florida. Remember, connecting is easy and guaranteed. Find out more at directconnecttoucf.com. We all know that sound means there's going to be some need for collision repair work and soon. What you may not know is that it's your choice where to have that collision work done, not the other guy's insurance company. Because your vehicle is much more than just transportation. It's like a family member. So don't bring it to just any chain collision center. Bring it to Lyle's Collision Service. When it comes to getting your vehicle back to 100%, you can count on Lyle's Collision Service. They're not some fly-by-night chain company. They're a family-owned and run collision center with over 33 years of experience. Working with collision repairs and vehicle restoration, Lyle's Collision only uses quality parts and doesn't take shortcuts like some other companies. They take pride in getting the job done right and in a timely manner. They specialize in insurance claims and they strive to get your vehicle back to you as soon as possible. So the next time you hear this, remember, it's your choice. And the choice is clear. Lyle's Collision Service. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. Is that couch cushion sinking lower every time you sit in it? Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in the golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has been right here in Ocala for nearly 20 years, so they know how to make your ride one of a kind. Whether you want to take that classic ride back to a factory look or put your favorite sports team front and center, Captain T's upholstery is who to call. 352-369-1810. That's 352-369-1810. Or stop by their location. 5030 South Pine Avenue in Ocala, just past the drive-in. And of course, don't forget to visit them on the web, CaptainTUpholstery.com. The very best in quality is Captain T's Upholstery. Here is your 30-second news brief. A six-year-old boy drowned in a pond at a Daytona Beach apartment complex yesterday. A 64-year-old Umatilla man has been arrested on charges that he inappropriately touched a young girl and made her watch child porn. The Florida Department of State has certified a ballot amendment that would automatically restore the voting rights of one and a half million felons who have served their sentences. And the Department of Justice has requested the Census Bureau add a citizenship question to the 2020 Census. And that is your news brief from the source. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Say photographs, no accident. On this Monday, it'll still be warm with clouds, even a brief shower or two in the highs in the 70s, and partial clearing Monday night and turning cooler. Lows in the 40s to lower 50s. Tuesday will feature sunshine, a cool breeze, highs in the upper 50s to mid 60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny, highs in the mid 60s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg.
Here's the tree selling event you've been waiting for coming straight at you from Bob Wines Camellia Gardens in Ocala. Right now, it's a BOGO event on every tree in stock. Buy the tree of your choice at Bob's already super low price and get a second tree just like it for half price. You can get a large tree, five to seven feet tall, for $59 and get a second one just like it for half price. If you only have room for one tree, bring a friend, bring a relative, bring a neighbor. The second tree is half price. By all means, don't miss the Camellia Show Spectacular. It's going on right now. It's a five-acre garden of fabulous specimen camellias and a smashing rainbow of colors, all in the process of blooming right now. It's free. It's every day right into April at Bob Wines Camellia Gardens, Southeast 38th Street, Ocala, in the same blooming place for 66 years. All right, 20 minutes after 9 o'clock. Wow, that was perfect timing. It was un- unplanned and everything. Just Bob Wines commercial. <laughs> now we we'll speak to Lori Williams with Bob Wines. Hey, good morning, Lori. How you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Good. I was just on your Facebook page because I like to put uh, a picture from you when we do the podcast. And you got a new gotcha. picture on your like your Facebook. There's all these pretty pictures of, um, uh, of, of camellias. Yeah. You guys, you yep. not you not only are good with plants, but you're good with photography. Somebody over there, huh? Yes, we have a great photographer now. Is that right? Is I it, think yeah, she's she a picture of the woodpeckers too. This lot. Yeah, yeah, Robin was talking about that this morning. Yeah, yeah. Karen Franklin yeah. Perkins. She's absolutely yeah, amazing. Yes, she does very good photography. I got to get three names. Everybody who is good at something has three names. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can, uh, oh, man. Karen Franklin Perkins is that it? Yes, Karen Franklin Perkins. Wow. I love the woodpecker woodpecker pictures that she took. They're outstanding. How does this sound, Larry? Yeah, Larry Howard Whitler. How there you sound? go. Does That's that it. sound good? That it. sounds great. Larry Howard. <laughs> Larry sounds like a cartoon character. I always thought my name sounded like a cartoon character. Oh, Lawrence then? Yeah, Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence. Lawrence. I'm Lawrence. Yeah, but then it sounds like I'm a butler or something. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend, Lori? It was good. We were we were busy. We had a lot of customers around on Saturday. There was a big chameleon show this weekend, so we had a, a lot of people at the nursery. Those pictures of those, those um, chameleons that you see on the table, we had a garden group that came last week. So we set up the table with balloons on them and stuff, and then for the weekend also because of the community show that was in town. Wow. I, I would encourage anybody listening to go to the Bob Wines uh, Facebook page. You guys put a lot of pictures up there, pretty pictures. And I think I think, yeah. I think think a baker should be able to put these flowers on a cake. I don't know why they can't. I think they could. Yeah, it looks like the same <laughs> sort of thing, doesn't it? It, it, it does. If it's somebody beautiful. was to ask me, this is okay. Now, I don't want to offend anybody, but if somebody just said to me, what does a camellia look like? I would say it's a cross between a rose and a carnation. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. We, we, we call them a winter rose because they bloom in the wintertime, and they're, they're gorgeous, and the cold weather doesn't bother them. That's what's nice because we have such cold weather this winter, and you can still see um, how great they look, even our big bushes in the ground are blooming very well after all that cold that we had. And a lot of people think they're hard to take care of, but they're not real difficult to take care of. And we've got varieties that will grow in the sun, full sun, and then we have varieties that do better in a little bit more shade. So it just kind of depends on where you want to put them as to what's going to work best for you. And the colors are outstanding. They're so vibrant, but it looks like there's more than one color per bloom. It's just absolutely outstanding. Yeah, there's some solid colors, which are like reds and whites and pinks, and then you have red and white, and pink and white are the main colors, and there's a few yellow ones also, but even the bloom formations are different on them, too, so, there's, and there's just thousands and thousands of varieties of camellias. Did you have a lot of foot traffic this uh, past week because of the, the all the blooms happening? Yeah, we did. We were we were pretty busy this last week, and with the rain we had this morning, that'll help also. So yeah, I was thinking that too. I was thinking we really, you know, everybody complains about the rain, but we really haven't had any in a while, right? Right, we really haven't. So it was good to have it. It rained all night. It was a good rain too. So so is everybody almost done with the cold or the flu? Or are you guys still going through that? Yeah, no, we're about over it. Thank goodness. Yeah, it's me like too. You, get rid- you, you think you get rid of it, and then all of a sudden you got it back again. Yeah, I had a relapse. Did you have a relapse, Robin? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. It was I, think, I, think every, I think everybody has. <laughs> and, and and I heard yeah. on the news that my age group is the hardest hit right now. I don't know if you're in my age group, and I'm not going to say. But <laughs> 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 it, 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 it's just uh, really, it usually hits kids and people older than me, but I guess this time it's hitting us. 
Right, yes. Uh, one good thing about your gardens is that when people come over there to Bob Wine's Camellia Gardens and Nursery and purchase plants or trees or anything there, they're all bug-free. You don't have any bugs they got to worry about. Right, exactly. We, um, we, we don't have any issues with that. And, really? you know, even the stuff in the ground, we make sure that we keep it sprayed and fertilized and and you know, and, and another good thing too, when you come to us, we can help you. You know, bring a picture in of what you're trying to do, and we can help you as far as what plants to use and where to put them and how to plant them, and you know, just really give you uh, more customer service than you can get at the big box stores. And all fertilizers are different too, depending on what kind of uh, foliage you're going to have at your place. Right, exactly. And we've got some good fertilizers that also have like bug killers in it. So it helps keep the bugs off the plants and fertilizes them at the same time, which is always good. And you have different ground covers, too, that people can choose yeah. from. Yeah, a lot of different ground cover. We carry the ju- we carry a lot of different junipers. We carry ivy, jasmine. Uh, right now we've got Confederate jasmine on sale, uh, which is the vine that has a real sweet smell and white flower. Oh, I love that. Uh, Larry has one yeah. of those. Yeah, and right. azaleas, azaleas, is, it's getting to be season for azaleas again because they'll be blooming here shortly. And but after after all this cold weather, they're, they should be beautiful this year. Yeah, Florida's ready to be done with winter. We're ready. The, the rest That's of the country right. will have will have a little they bit longer. They can have it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, uh, but we're ready to be done. I think this weekend is Groundhog Day. How do you like your groundhog with ketchup or just plain? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I think just plain. <laughs> uh, when people oh, come you know, come by the uh, camellias from you and then they transport them to the house, they don't have to worry about the petals falling off. No, no. I mean, a lot of them are still blooming, but they'll hang on. The blooms will hang on. And we can package them up for you when we put them in your car and all, too, for you. So, Oh, that's wonderful. You, what did yeah. you say? I have I have a I have a Confederate jasmine. Yes, I do. The big white one by your shed. Huh? Is that the big thing one? that's very milky when you cut it? Yes, that's it. Oh, and it smells yeah. great. Yeah, it's really yeah. milky and it's really hardy. Yeah. I mean, it, look, it seems like it survives everything, cold weather and everything. Yeah. Right? Yes, it it does. It is pretty, and it does have a, a smell to it, a good smell. Yeah. We went it's to the Hogtown thing this weekend. And boy, yeah, there was, I saw pictures of that. There was a lot of smells up there. Holy mackerel! <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have different bad smells? Do you have different kinds of trellises there? Because sometimes uh, you need a trellis for different kinds of plants. Yeah, we don't carry an awful lot of trellises, um, but we carry the plants that you can use on the trellises. A lot of different vines we carry. Oh, um, how nice! And once we get into about, about Valentine's Day, we'll have a lot more flowering stuff coming in now that the weather is going to start warming up and roses will have a good selection of roses for valentine's day whether you want to give you know the easy care roses or more of the hybrid tea smelly roses or don juan the climbing roses we'll have a lot of that coming in for valentine's day i wonder if that's when i have a a don juan i might have a don juan because mine climbs it's kind of wild looking it's very wild it's like don juan (laughs) Is is it red well, there's no flowers yet, but but I oh. it, but it came. See, I had a rose bush or whatever, and it died, and I figured that was it. And then something popped up, and I said, oh, "What if that's going to be another rose bush?" And now I've got. Mm. I mean, it looks like Dr. Seuss painted it. It's all it's just lines going everywhere. You need a trellis, really? Maybe. Yeah, that's I need a trellis. What you need a trellis for it? Really? And what do I do with the trellis? Just sit next to it? What do you do with those? Yeah, things? put it kind of, put put it behind it, and just kind of attach it to the trellis, and kind of trim it and shape it for the trellis. I wish I got to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the only problem. I don't really go home a whole lot. <laughs> uh, when people buy bird feeders from you, do you recommend, uh, what, what kind of uh, cleaning supplies do you recommend for that so it keeps the mold off of the inside? Actually, apple cider vinegar. If you mix some of apple cider vinegar, it helps keep the mold and the algae and stuff out of them. And it doesn't hurt the birds either. Oh, okay. Really? Yep. Excellent. Yeah. Yep. Well, you yep. sound like you're feeling better, Lori. Good to hear from you. I am. Tell everybody yeah. we said hi. Yeah, awesome. Bob, okay, we'll uh, Bob and and, uh, and Mr. George and, and everybody else yeah. over there, okay? Will do. So uh, let's see. Give a phone number and, and uh, an address so we know where to go. We're at 2610 Southeast 38th Street off of 17th Street and Lakewood Avenue. And our phone number is 352-629-5766. And we're there Monday through Friday, 9 to 4, and Saturday, 9 to 2. 
And those photographs that Karen Franklin Perkins takes of your place are absolutely outstanding. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yes. You guys do good work. Yeah. Th- thank you, Lori. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. All right. We'll be right back. All right. Bye-bye. Fox News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. President Trump's expected to release guidelines for his immigration plan today. More money for border security, more restrictions on legal immigration, and a path to citizenship for some younger illegal immigrants. Senate Minority Whip Dick Durbin warned that the president's plan, in his words, places the White House's hardline immigration... 